Hello everyone, welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Fajiri Rome, and I'm an honors bachelor of science student uh, currently working towards medical school. Uh, today we'll be going over some commonly asked chemistry questions at both the high school and college level. Uh, if you need some homework help or further tutoring, uh, check in the, out the links in the description below. So with that, hope you're having a wonderful night. Uh, let's kick this off for today with this question. So our first question to tonight for tonight is what is a hydroxyl group? Okay. So with that, let's see what we're dealing with here. So when we think of a hydroxyl group, right? We're thinking of things that um, simply put Here's our main R group, okay? And the hydroxyl is just attached to that R group as a oxygen and hydrogen. Hence how it gets the name hydroxyl. So you'll see things uh, common in common things like alcohols and um, carboxylic acids as well. Uh, for example, if we were to draw an alcohol, any alcohol, let's say we have propanol. In fact, let me just do this just to make sure that we're on the same page here. What is a hydroxyl group? Okay. So like I was saying, propanol is an example. So it has three carbons. So one, two, three. And then one more, but it'll be OH right there. This right here, that OH at the end, that is your hydroxyl group. Without the hydroxyl group, we would really just have propane. This is without the hydroxyl group. Um, another example of a hydroxyl group, for example, uh, would be, let's use actually the pro, like three carbons. Uh, propanoic acid, okay? So same thing here, it'll have, and then the branch out to the OH, but the C here will have that. So this is still your hydrox hydroxyl group, and it's called an acid because it's reacting over here to form like a, what's it called? Um, resonance structure there so that would be your I guess example propanoic acid take out the propanoic I mean the hydroxyl group from propanoic acid and you end up with an aldehyde I am blanking out on what the name is but it'll kind of look like that so actually if we write it better like this Okay, and my naming for all the highs is a little bit rusty, so I'm not gonna try to name that. Um, but the point being is that the common thing here is that we're trying to discuss hydroxyl groups. It simply can be just said that it's your OH attached to your um, R, which is your main chain. So it can happen uh, several, one uh, molecule can have several hydroxyl groups. So for example, if I had something like this, okay. I can have multiple hydroxyl groups. I can have an OH here, an OH here, and like an OH here. Each of these OHs are hydroxyl groups. So hopefully we've uh, hit that nail on the head several times of what a hydroxyl group looks like. And with that, let's see what they said here. So a hydroxyl group is a functional group that contains an oxygen and a hydrogen, so that OH, all right? And it's cool because hydroxyl sounds a lot like hydroxide, which is just OH minus, sorry. So just if, that's, if you're having a hard time remembering, this is a um, hydroxide uh, ion, so OH minus. And uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Hydronium is H3O and hydroxide, yep. OH minus, that's a hydroxide. So they're very similar in name, 
So that may help you remember that. Okay. And it can be found in the function groups of alcohol, as we showed here with propanol, and carboxylic acids, which are shown with propanoic acid. So, yeah. And exactly, they do mention that it is a hydrogen bond because exactly anything O, when an O is attached to an H, this in itself is a hydrogen bond. So it increases the energy required to break that bond, meaning that exactly like you notice with alcohols and acids, they have a quite high boiling points relative to like just like propanol would have a much higher boiling point than propane, for example. Well, yeah. So this is correct. Now let's move on to question two.